looks like us Taskade users are being spoiled as Taskade has released yet another update this month. In this video, we'll take a look at what I think are the three most relevant new features included in this latest update. These features include a dynamic knowledge functionality, a multi-site reader tool, and multi-agent handoff and collaboration. If this sounds interesting to you, then let's get started. Before we begin, I want to say that I do have another video where I went through some of the functionalities included in the previous Taskade update, which was really only a couple of days ago. So if you want to review that video, I'll go ahead and leave that link in the description. Like previous updates, this new update was also heavily focused around AI agents. I think by now it is no secret that Taskade is trying to make their AI capabilities their strong selling point to have other users jump in their tool. And I honestly think they're doing a great job with it. For this particular video, I will try to explain these three features using a single use case as I do find that seeing an example helps us all understand the functionality a lot better. So for this exercise, I'll be working with the following entities inside Taskade. I'll be working inside the testing folder. Inside the testing folder, I'm going to work specifically with the to-do list project and I'm going to use three agents. I have a blogger agent that helps me write um, articles or just written content. I have a project manager agent, which I tend to interact with to ask questions about projects, deadlines, due dates, planning, etc. And then I have a researcher agent that's in charge of researching specific topics that I then have my blogger write about. So the first new functionality that I want to review is dynamic knowledge. So according to Taskade, we can now train our AI agents on a specific project or a specific website, and they'll always stay up to date even if new changes are made to that specific project or that specific web link. Now, testing this with a web link, it's kind of tough as I would have to make a change to that particular website and then ask the agent something about it to see if it's working or not. But I have tried this with a project and it seems to do very well even when new changes or updates are made to the project. So to add a project, you'll simply head to the knowledge section of your agent, you'll click on add project, and you can add a project as I have done here at the bottom. To test this functionality, let me show you what the project contains at the moment. So we have four tasks and each of those tasks have a specific due date. If I go to the AI agent, I'm gonna go to project manager agent, I'm going to start a new chat and I'm going to ask it to give me the two tasks that are due the soonest. So here it's going to use project context and it's going to give me the resource plan allocation task and the send email attendees um, task. So these are the two tasks that are due um, the soonest. Now, one thing to note here is that the date, the due date that is being displayed here, if for some reason, it's 24, 24 hours off from what I see in my to-do list. So as you can see, resource plan allocation, that's one, and then send email to attendees. That's the, those are the two tasks that are due the earliest. And for some reason, the due date shown in the AI agent chat is off by 24 hours from what I have here. I have raised this concern with uh, Taskade, so ho hopefully they'll have somebody look into it. But, you know, I just figured I mentioned that I did notice that during my testing. Okay, so now that's great. We know it can get project context now. Let's make an update to this project. And let's say I have a new task, right? So I'm gonna say finish agile methodology presentation. Okay, so I'm gonna add a new task. I'm gonna add a due date of the 28th. So now this is a task that's uh, due the soonest, the soonest. So I'm gonna go back to AI agents. I'm gonna go back to the project manager chat, and I'm gonna ask it to refresh the list with the latest updates to the project. And as you can see now, it has refreshed the list. It took into account the new changes or updates that I've made to the project. And it now displays that the finished Agile methodology presentation task is due the soonest, followed by the resource plan allocation. 
And again, just keep in mind that for some reason, this date is 24 hours off, but hopefully that will be fixed soon. Next, let's test the other functionality, which is the multi-site reader tool. So we saw in a previous video that in the last update, we could now have the AI agents crawl specific URLs and pull information. So let's say if I have an article that I have from um, online, I can just paste the URL here and I can have the agent provide me a summary or you know do something else with that information. But now you can have the AI agent scroll multiple URLs, not only one. So here in this example, I'm gonna ask the agent to retrieve four articles on Agile methodology. So here the update is instead of working with a single um, link or a single URL, you can now work with multiple ones and you can have it retrieve the articles from the web and then you can have, of course, the agent summarize each of these articles. But really very simple, that is a new multi-site um, reader tool. So last but not least is the multi-agent handoff and collaboration functionality. And this functionality basically allows you to have one AI agent pass or basically provide tasks to other AI agents. And to enable this, you'll have to go to the edit agent here section, go to tools, make sure you have the ask agent functionality. This has uh, been available already in the past. Just make sure you have that enabled as a tool in one of your agents, as I did not have that before and this was not working for me. And then you'll create a command called ask agents. So just create a command called ask agents and for the prompt, you'll have use the context to execute the requested objective. So once you have those two things enabled, we can go back to the chat. And here we can execute the command. So I'm gonna click here on commands. I'm gonna do ask agents and I'm gonna say ask the researcher agent to summarize the articles above and ask the blogger agent to write an article based on this summary. So I'm gonna click on execute. And I'm gonna speed up this part of the video. It'll ask me for some approvals. So this still is still part of a uh, manual process as you can see here. So it's asking me to appro approve the blogger agent writing a summary. And it's also asking me to approve the researcher agent doing a summary of these articles. So here, as you can see, it has now finished the summary of those four articles and it pasted this, this summary as the input for the blogger to write an article based on the summary. So I'll need to approve this again. And this should have the blogger agent now write an article based on the summary of the researcher agent. Um, as you saw there, the approval process, it's still kind of... Um, a little weird, so I, I think I approved things four times uh, when really it should have been just twice, one for the researcher agent to do the summary and then one for the blogger to write an article based on that summary. But for some reason, it asks for the approval four times, so it's still not perfect. However, it does get the job done. So as you can see here, now I have an article based on the summary of those four URLs or links basically that I had retrieved earlier. So there you have it. That's a very quick video on three of the latest functionalities Taskit has provided. We looked at dynamic knowledge or basically having agents be refreshed or up to date on context from either a project or a web link we provide. We also looked at the multi-site reader tool or now that AI agents are able to read multiple URLs and work with the data in those URLs and also the multi-agent handoff and collaboration which is having one agent pass or assign tasks to other agents. Um, again, they're not perfect. You saw some of the issues there with the uh, due date when it came to the dynamic knowledge and also with the multiple approvals on the multi-agent handoff, but hopefully those things get ironed out. And honestly, this is becoming a very powerful AI tool. So please let me know if you liked the video. Um, also, let me know what you're using these functionalities for. I always love to hear new use cases uh, for this great tool. 
And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.